Okay, another new button that you'll see on the Qubit Job Manager screen is this Codes button. So this is another great feature which a number of our traditional BuildSoft global estimating users have been seeking and it's the ability to code a job to create different formats or versions of the estimate. In our legacy software we call this Q&R coding or R2 coding or a job analysis. These columns were traditionally used to sort an estimate's information by level or building or perhaps by trade package or accounting code. Our product development team has taken this functionality to the next level and beyond. In the BuildSoft Qubit Pro version, you can now add up to 20 coding columns per estimate. And the previous six character code limitation for R2 group coding has now been expanded to up to 25 characters. So these codes here now be up to 25 characters long. You'll note that I've got quantity coding and rate coding menus. So quantity coding, we'd like your traditional Q and Q2 coding or your block codings. So you can see here I've created four different types of quantity coding. So we may want to break down on a job by units or levels, blocks or areas. So we can set this up as a master code file back at the job manager screen and also with the rate grouping I've set up two here, one for R coding, one for cost coding. So for R coding I've got something quite simple or basic, we may just want to get a, a breakdown or an idea of how much labour, material, plant and stubby items are throughout an estimate. Or as, as you can see here, I've got a quite detailed cost coding list set up where we've got a number of codes and descriptions. So this could be something that might be linked to uh, your job administration package that you're using or your accounting software. So these codes could be something that are imported from your job costing or job accounting solution. For the traditional uh, legacy software users for global estimating and offsider, you can import up your R or R2 codes, Q codes if need be from global estimating into Qubit. So there's an option in global estimating to dump the data to a CSV file and then we can click import and bring that information in to say if you happen to retype all of these codes back into Qubit. 